couple of examples. I have 3 and 3 over 7 divided by 6 and 1 over 4. These are both mixed numbers, so I have to convert them to improper fractions. 7, I take my denominator of 7, multiply it to my whole number, and then add the numerator. So 7 times 3 is 21, plus 3 is 24. And then 4 times 6 is 24 plus 1 is 25. Make sure you keep the same denominator. Okay, so now I can go ahead and divide these fractions. For me to divide fractions, I have to take my second fraction and flip it. So my top number is going to become my bottom number. My bottom number will become the top number. So let's write it right here. Once I flip it, I'm going to change my sign to multiplication. So it's going to be 24 over 7 times 4 over 25. Make sure you flip the second one and not the first one. If you flip the first one, you're going to get the wrong answer. So it's 24 over 7 times 4 over 25. And you're going to see if you can multiply or you can cancel any of these numbers out. Make sure that one number is uh, the numerator and another number is in the denominator position. So 7 with 4, they have no common factors because 7 um, is a prime number. And then 24 and 25 also have no common factors. So you're going to have to multiply the top numbers and then multiply the bottom numbers together to get your answer. So 24 times 4. 24 times 4. 4 times 4 is 16, so I put the 1 right here. 6 down there. 4 times 2 is 8. Add the 1. 9. This becomes 96 over, and then 25 times 7. 5 times 7 is 35, so put the 3 up here. 5 right there. Uh, 7 times 2 is 14, plus 3 is 17. So this is 1, 7, 5. And since none of these were able to reduce or cross cancel, I know that this is my answer. Okay. The next example, 2 and 4 over 5 divided by 10 over 3. 10 over 3 is an improper fraction, so I can leave that as it is. Uh, this one I have to convert. So 5 times 2 is 10 plus the 4 is 14. So 14 over 5 divided by 10 over 3. So I'm going to flip the second fraction so that the top number and my bottom number switch positions. And then that changes this division to multiplication. So 14 over 5 times 3 over 10. So from here, now that it's a multiplication problem, I can see if any numbers will um, cross cancel. So 5 and 3 have no common factors because they're both prime numbers. 14 and 10 have a common factor. Before we do that, um, let me just point out 5 and 10 have a common factor of 5, right? Both, uh, 5 goes into both of these numbers. But remember, you can't cancel those out because they're both denominators. So they're both on the bottom. So when you, when you cancel numbers out, you have to make sure that one of them is on the top and the, another one is on the bottom. Okay. So I can, since 14 is on the top and 10 is on the, at the bottom, I can cross cancel those numbers out. Now, a common factor between 14 and 10 is 2 because they're both even numbers. So I'm going to take both numbers and divide it by that common factor. So the, since the common factor is 2, I'm going to divide this number by 2, and that's 5. And then take the 14, divide it by 2, 
and that becomes 7. You have to make sure that you're going to divide by the same factor, okay? And there are no more, so 7 and 5, they have no common factors, so then I can go ahead and multiply them. 7 times 3, 21, 5 times 5 is 25, and that is your answer. Okay, uh, so make sure when you divide fractions, number one, convert all mixed numbers to improper fractions, and then you're going to switch the second fraction, okay, switch the top number becomes the bottom number, the bottom number becomes the top number, and then you're going to multiply those fractions together. So um, that's it for this lesson. Thank you for watching educator.com.